Creo Parametric 4.0, Lesson 1, Part 4. In this lesson, we are going to do a drawing of both the part and the assembly. I'm going to close out our last assembly model, and it will remain in session. So start off with new. It's going to be a drawing, and we will use it as the plate assembly, whatever we want to call it. Use what is given to you in the text and always follow the text instructions. Sometimes I deviate and give you some extra information in the lecture. And many times I don't cover everything that's in the book itself. I'm going to click OK. And we're going to keep the C size drawing. And it's going to automatically use the default model I didn't change that, so we're going to get an assembly drawing here. And the first thing you always want to do is turn off all the datum features because they are not features of the part. If you have a set datum using geometric tolerancing, etc., that is a feature of the part. But in this case, you always turn it off. So we have our automatic three views. If you wanted to work in full screen, you could do that. I'm going to go back to just the regular. And <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to add one extra view. So right mouse button. I'm going to select general view. And that's the same thing as coming up here and selecting it off the ribbon. Okay. And I'm going to put it over here on the side like so. Now it's going to follow whatever state we have in the, in the model itself. In other words, whatever is set for our display. You can see it says follow the environment. So if you wanted to change this to another, you know, let's say wireframe or no hidden line, you could do it right here. The view type is isometric. We could go back to the triometric here, but we set that option before, and that's why it's coming in. We wanted to go to the scale. We could give a custom scale. And for instance, we could then apply one, make it bigger. That's a little big. And let's just do 0.75. Maybe that'll be the best. So it's a little bit bigger. So we have our pictorial view here. In this case, it's an isometric. Um, we have other things that we're going to cover later. Uh, for instance, tangent edges, if you want these to be dimmed, which I normally do. And we can say, let's leave that alone. Apply. OK. So. If we want to select on these three views and then right mouse button, properties, here the only thing that comes up since we selected three views is the style. So if we wanted to have no hidden lines, we could select that. We could do our tangent dimmed for the tangent edges. And this is, I shouldn't have done it on the shaded image. It wasn't necessary. Apply. And it'll take the hidden lines out. OK, now it's an assembly, and we want to change the sheet itself. So I'm going to right mouse button sheet setup, or come down here and click on size. And it goes directly in here to set up the sheet. Or I can go up here in the ribbon and do the same thing. So if we were working in full screen here, right mouse button sheet setup, Click inside this field under Format, drop down and get to Browse. And in this case, we'll pick the standard ANSI, I should say ASME standard. Should have double clicked. OK. And there is our completed drawing. So it's very simple. I'm going to go and get rid of this full screen for a second. And you'll be able to see the model tree now has a drawing tree also. So drawing tree is above here. And you can see if you click on a view, it highlights it over here. Now, one of the things I did not do is go and change the tree filters and make sure this is all turned on, which it is. So that is our first drawing, very simple. 
um, if we clicked on these tabs up here, we can go to annotate. And we can say show model annotation. Now, only one dimension should show up here. I'm going to click on this view. And that is the dimension showing the offset because that's the only assembly dimension. And I'm going to come out. So that's my assembly drawing. I'm going to close that. And we'll start a new one, another drawing. And this one is the plate. And in this case here, this is still the default m model, the assembly. So we want to go, and I'll pick in session and select plate. We want to make sure we change the model that's going to be used for this particular drawing. And we'll keep it on the C. Click OK. And we have our three views. Right mouse button, if we wanted to put a general view in, we could do that. And if we wanted to change that one, make it a little bit different to trimetric. And if we want to move this around, we can go over here and unlock it, or right mouse button and unlock it here. And that gives us a new cursor and it allows us to move it around. Now, as far as the sheet setup, again, we can get it from up here, right mouse button, sheet setup, or down here by double clicking on the size. And again, we're going to go and drop down, get our C size, open. And if we have our own format, we could put our own format on that. Um, for instance, if we went to browse and we went in here, we will see that I do have a detail format. You create this in one of the later lessons. And you've got information that becomes embedded in there. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to move this around a little bit so we have a little bit of room. And you'll notice that this is the primary view, this front view. Therefore, everything projects from it. If we didn't want one of these views, we could take it out. We've got two views. This one here is not really necessary. You can hit your delete key or right mouse button delete. And in this case here, we do want to go to our annotate tr tab, click on show, and we're going to select the view for dimensioning. We want to dimension this one. And if you look closely, you'll see there's a difference between selecting here and selecting here. So we'll select this and we'll select the view. I'm holding down my control key. And I decide I want to keep all three of these dimensions. So I'll do that. Apply. And I'm going to go over here to the datum. And these are for the center line. So I'm going to select those and apply and then cancel out that. Now, if I zoom in, I can click on this dimension, and I can move it. And if I put my cursor here, I can actually drag out the extension line. Used to be a little box there. In the front, well, in the top, how about the center line? If I wanted to make that longer or even extend to the front, I could. Now, I press the Shift key on the middle mouse button to move it around, and I'm zooming in with my middle mouse button. And now I want to go over and I want to pick on the dimension, move the dimension outside. By the way, when I select this, right mouse button, I can change the attachment. I can flip the arrows. And if I want to alter the center line, I can make that look better. And if I want to take this dimension and go down here. Now, if I wanted to put a dimension, I mean, obviously, this is not, you need to cross the flats. This is not a good dimension here. But you wouldn't add a dimension because that would become a non-driving dimension. This is a driving dimension. It is driving the model. It's the design. So one of the best ways to do a change in the sense that you want the correct design intent is to go back and I'm going to open up the model. And I think I'll get rid of some of this shading. And I'm just going to click on 
this is this feature here. So the first feature. And when I do that, it automatically gives me some choices. Or I can move my cursor and hit my right mouse button, and it'll give me some extra selections. I want to go up here to edit the definition. And I'm going to right-click, edit the sketch. And I want to go back into my 2D view. And I'm going to add a dimension. Right mouse button, dimension. And I'm going to click down here, select the line, select the other line, and then middle mouse button. Now, the system is going to say, you can't, you don't, it's not needed. You don't, you don't need to double dimension. So we have to remove something. In this case here, we're going to remove the 2.0. And let this be the driving dimension over here. If we wanted to change that, double click on it. Let's just make it 5. Check. I'm going to rotate it a little bit so we can see it. Check. And I'm going to switch windows. So I'll click up here. Go back over to this one. And you'll notice there's dimension is gone. So I want to go back to show. Click on this view. Make sure I pick the correct tab here, the dimension tab. And you can see the dimension now comes up. I want that one to stay. And I will move it a little bit. Looks like the gap is okay, but maybe I'll make it a little bit more. And we have our proper dimensioning drawing. Now, if I want to go back over to the, let's do this. Let's open up the assembly. Go in session, it's easiest. Open up the assembly. And I'm going to double click. I'm going to click on the plate. And I'm going to activate the plate and then double click on it and you'll see the part is active and the dimension is here. So we have our projection for the extrude dimension and we have our five and you can see that in the assembly. You'll notice that the non-active assembly and the other component, the pin, are not displayed in shading. They are transparent. So I'm going to go back over to the drawing. Click refit. And don't forget to save. This concludes lesson one.